So just a quick video on the Asus Z690 motherboards and a knock to a cooler. This is the D15S. The, the cooler is incompatible because of this piece of plastic. It's actually plastic. There's a screw here and a screw on the back and as you can see I'm not sure why this is there. I mean, did Noctua not work with Asus? Or should I say, did Asus not work with Noctua? My mounting brackets are in as, as per, they're not tight, but they're in. And if you can see, when you mount the cooler, it's hard to see. Let's see if I can get a little bit of light. You can see where the cooler hits, in there, right there. And it also has a tendency to hit right there. So my idea, instead of mounting it opposite, which does work, you can mount it like this, no issue. But then as you can see here, the dual fan configuration, I've got the extra fan and with the fan don't have much room here for my graphics card. So my idea is to get rid of this piece of plastic. So the real question is how do we do that besides without taking everything apart? Now I have an idea. It involves one of these, and one of these, and a torch. And I'm going to heat up the end of this box cutter and melt into here to remove this useless piece of plastic that's covering the VRM. I'm not sure why they put it, but in any case, let's see how this shows up, and I'll come back with the rest of the video. Well, for the record, I don't recommend doing this if you're not comfortable. There's the piece of plastic. The game. That's the blade that I used. And that's it. The VRM is metal. It's totally exposed. You're not going to hurt the VRM. Now I'm going to be able to fit my Noctua cooler, which should have been compatible in the first place. And all I used to heat it up the uh, blade was uh, one of these butane torches. As you can see. No problem, and I'll show you a little photo of the uh, no the Noctua uh, cooler installed when I apply after I apply the thermal paste.